that is running. There's a tractor over there that's also running if it's in focus. There's a tractor over there that's running it's in focus. I don't know why I said that, but okay. Anyways, we're out here on the farm today and it's supposed to snow like a foot tomorrow or something. And basically that one's gotta go in there. That one has gotta go in there. That one is also gonna go in there, but that one is gonna go in a different shed. Um, yeah, so to get that one in the barn, we gotta take one of the duels off so it'll fit inside of that or drive it a really long ways to um, the fairgrounds, but I don't feel like doing that. I'd rather take a tire off. And then that one over there, we gotta take the duels off to get it in, which is fine, cause normally it doesn't have duels on anyways. Um, yeah, zero degrees today. So yeah, everything is really cold. So got everything running, letting it warm up. Yeah. So if you're gonna take these big wheels off that we call duels, kind of got to have the right size socket to do it and none of those fit and I can never remember what size it is that one's pretty close 32 millimeter pretty sure it's standard but that'll work I don't care actually that's the wrong one and it still fits good enough so we're getting that out of here and Hopefully there's enough room in here to get that combine in here. It sure does make a lot of smoke. The plan to put the combine in here, put that tractor outside somewhere over there, and then get the 3020 in here. That's the one without the cab. Put it right in here somewhere. Waiting on tires for that. Okay, guys. Not a good start, but we're gonna take the duels off. This, this is how we do it, because we're too poor to have a forklift or a skid steer. And 18 438s are not that hard to do even on your own, but thank God I got a brother, two of them, that can help with this. But in this case, it's just two of us. Yeah. Probably want to drive that on there. This is an art work. <laughs> That, uh, 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 go back the other one. Okay. Uh, that'll probably work. I didn't know what you meant. That's it's a long ways off the ground. <laughs> Probably work. So he's taking the bolts out of there that mount this big tire to the axle and this tire. So we're taking these off so the tractor will fit into the barn for winter storage. Obviously we gotta do this on both sides too. Yeah. Oh. Well, we got the 60 
got the popping away for music in the background, which you can't hear. Anyway. like a glove. Oops. Perfect fit! Yeah! Yeah. We're gonna take the other side dual off of the top line. Yeah, what he said. We got tractors from all different kinds of eras. You know, like 50s, early 2000s, 60s. And then 2013 combine. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, 
think there's anything back there to worry about. Drive it up onto the duels like we did the tractor Probably. or onto the. Yeah. Okay. I didn't realize you got the 3020 started. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'd never plugged it in before, so I didn't know if that deal would work or not. Yeah. They, they replaced it like five or six years ago. Okay. See, all we really need is for Isaac to be more comical and to get a wig like a. Uh, Randy off a of field road, but we don't want to copy anybody. Yeah, that's yeah, we really, can't. We have to do really our own cool thing. That's really cool. What Randy does? Yeah. Oh, I don't think Randy. That's probably real hair. I didn't think about that. Sorry. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> that's his actual brother, man. That's. Yeah. Well, it sure be nice to have a peanut cotton farmer come up to Iowa. I think. A little I think it'd be fun to go down to the peanut farm and. Let me run his peanut picker. Yeah, that's what it is. Peanut picker. Yeah. Pick a peanuts. I can have a park. Must not have put enough planks down to get the tire up high enough to actually get it off. So he's kicking up. That's that's where we get our blocks. It's part of the garden next to the barn, you know. Flower bed. I guess it's a flower bed, not a garden. Big difference. Yeah. It's nice to have somebody do all the work for you. Why oh, I sit in this nice warm cab and watch. Oh. That looked painful. Good. It was just crushing right over the crown of all the timber. Could you say all that again? I, I didn't. I it didn't get. It's too cold. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna put the three point back on the eighty-one. It's your tractor. Nah. Oh. Okay. I think it looks better without it anyways. I feel like a wheat farmer without that, without uh -oh. that three point left. And it feels wrong. Sorry to all you wheat farmers. Yeah, sure. Okay, is this actually gonna loosen this stuff? It should. Okay. Is that the right size? Remember, always wear your hearing protection. Yeah. Yeah, it's the right size. Uh. Run!
Okay, so he ended up getting it with a stupid Milwaukee impact anyway. Way better. Way better than me in the three-quarter three-quarter drive. Yep. Kaboom! Okay, step one is done. Get off the timbers there. That tire's a little low too. Here's our barn, 1918. Or maybe 1920, I can't remember. We have a picture, um, I'll have to show you of uh, where it's being made. Um, I think it was maybe 1920 and the picture was taken from way back in that corner on the outside of the barn looking up this way. So Isaac's getting it all turned around here so we can back this thing in. And he probably explained it, but we're taking the dual off so we can make it in this doorway. It's so gonna be a close one. Already got it laid down. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. That's that's fine. I think it's still gonna be really close width-wise with taking the uh, taking the dual off. Okay, so I'm just gonna let it run, and I'm gonna help him help direct him in here, probably from the front. So you keep it on. We're trying to get in the door right there, and then the auger's way back there. Yeah, we're good. You can go like another foot so we've got room to walk in here. <laughs> yeah, I don't like if we if we widen the door. Hey, it's only like an inch or two. I know we could. Uh, I don't know how you do that. I guess you could cut uh, a chunk out of the. Uh, we could we could out. rebuild the header. Oh, oh yeah. All that's, over that's again. Easy, yeah. Yeah, because so what a great idea. It took like two days to do that when we didn't even know what the heck we were doing like nine years ago. So this this tire's low on air too. No, no, it's just because all the weight. Oh yeah, I suppose that's yeah, a, that's yeah, a thing. Yeah. Heck, I could have been over a whole nother two feet. Yeah, but because oh, you're big, yeah, the like you said, extensions, you're leaning this way. That's too. true. Well, the one way I saw that, just get big fatty tires. It's yeah, like, yeah. Unless somebody wants to sponsor us. Unless someone wants to trade tires. Or that. Check, plenty of room. I could back this thing up another couple feet. Turning the, the battery off, bro. Oh, yeah. Gotta keep our response How's it going, eh? I guess that's Canadian. 
Canada, Wisconsin, pretty much the same thing. Minnesota? Minnesota's cool. There. You gotta turn the bat batteries off, that way they don't die, because batteries are kind of expensive. I gotta go figure out what we're gonna do with that tire. Where do we want to put that? Probably with the other ones. Oh, jeez. Yeah. But I don't really want to do that. We'll lean up against the barn and tell you what's up. Oh, boy. You know what's funny is how you sometimes find things when you're not looking for him. He was just wondering where his vice grip, no. Oh. I was wired to that piece of wood, so never mind. I found your vice grips. They're over there, wired to a piece of wood. Oh, well that explains why they're wired to a piece of wood. Matt, are those yours? Oh, yeah, <laughs> they, they probably are. Those are the really crappy ones? Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Look at that. Sorry. That's, that's cool. thankful for tabbed tractors like that one. Okay, we're going to get the 4450 out of the barn, which we just put in the barn. So the 3020 can go in. Gotta make sure my axle mount duals don't 
hit the side of the uh, the doorway. The noise you hear is the antenna hitting the rafters of the, the barn. And there's Isaac. I guess it don't make a difference if it's up against there anyways. What? What do you mean? Like up against that that wall. No. Yeah, it don't matter. It'd be fine. I, I mean, once we get the tires back on the gator, then we can yeah. get nope. ourselves by another couple of feet. All right. Ugh. Man, we're gonna have a lot of stuff in here. I know. I don't it's know like if we've we, ever had this much stuff in here. It's like we get a little bit more aggressive every year. See, it used to be we never would get both of these heads next to each other. We oh. didn't? No. Oh. I can't remember where we put them all, but I, I know we weren't putting them side by side. We got more aggressive this time. Well, I got all the time in the world, so I'm always trying it. Yeah, it also helps when you have a front hitch on the front of a tractor, so then you can see what back you're it doing, up and you can see where you're going with it. Oh man, I think we finally might be done. Just barely fits. Like a glove. So we're thinking once I get that, the 4640, the one that's in the garage, put back in one piece. This is plenty. Yeah, it'll fit. <laughs> we're gonna get them all in here, it cracks me up. Yeah. Except for the 60, it'll have to stay out in the cold, but it'll work. We can put it in here for now. Yeah. Then you gotta open the door every time you're gonna use it. It's and... annoying. Yeah, Man. stupid doors. Ridiculous. Okay. like the video and subscribe that'd be fantastic and yeah hope you enjoy the content have a good one happy new year